Let's talk about this main event matchup again, scheduled for five rounds, Nate Diaz versus Tony Ferguson. Two OGs, two Ultimate Fighter winners. I am so stoked for this matchup, Dean. I know you are as well. These guys have cardio. They have styles that absolutely drive fans crazy in a good way. What are your expectations for what we could see play out over 25 minutes? I mean, we're going to see just a barn burner for 25 minutes because both guys like to use pressure to break their opponents. And now we're talking about two guys who normally use pressure to break their opponent, opponents trying to break each other. And I don't see that happening. So we're going to see a stylistic clash of two guys just going forward. Although I think Tony is going to be on the move a little bit more because he is a little bit more unorthodox. But, I mean, it's just a great matchup for, for the fans. Yeah, you're going to see volume, I think, from both of these guys. I, I actually kind of, one thing I really like about this fight is that it is at Walter Wade. I thought Tony Ferguson being asked to jump up and fight Li Jing Liang a guy who's ranked in the top 15 in his first his first draw at at, uh, at welterweight it was going to be a tough fight for tony ferguson but i feel like now he's, he's also fighting a guy who fought the majority of his career at lightweight division these guys have as you said megan really really fun styles they're quirky i'm almost kind yeah. of sad that we didn't get to see them interact at a press conference because we just didn't miss like the personalities between them but the fight itself i think tony's going to do tony ferguson stuff and nate diaz is going to laugh at him point at him talk crap you know, put it up his middle fingers. This is going to be a fight with a lot of attitude, and it's going to be a really fun 25 minutes. Totally agree. Dean, Dean, when it comes down to game plan and how they might approach this, Tony Ferguson now working with Brandon Gibson, John Jones striking coach. He made some changes, went to Albuquerque for a little while. What are your expectations from what we could see from Tony in terms of that last outing where he looked great until he was finished by Michael Jones? You know, I'll tell you what, like all week, Tony's been talking, and he sounds more mature. So I expect to see a little bit more maturity from him. I expect to see him still on the outside moving. And if I'm them, I'm using leg kicks because Nate Diaz has been a notorious for not blocking leg kicks throughout the duration of his career. So I'm, I'm standing on the outside using leg kicks and then just being as as quirky like Brett said and make it uncomfortable for Nate just like being awkward and goofy. Yeah, yeah, I think the leg kicks, of course, anytime you're talking about Nate Diaz and the wrestling. You know, Nate Diaz, th that's why we were talking about he was going to have such a hard time with the physicality of the wrestler and Hamzat. We've seen him get out-wrestled in his career. He doesn't even really consider that fighting, you know? He's like, I'll wrestle me to, 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 to a win. He doesn't really have a lot of respect for that. But if you're Tony Ferguson at certain moments of this fight, you might want to turn to your wrestling because Tony Ferguson never ha has, has probably should have been able to do that a little bit in some of his other fights. He should turn turn to it here, especially in some critical moments, I think. Nate Diaz, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. We know he's no slouch on the canvas when it comes to a jiu-jitsu matchup. Not sure if we will see exactly that. But Dean, from a fighter's perspective, all right, you're ready to fight your opponent. You've been thinking about it for weeks now. And then all of this happens within 24 hours, essentially, of you going to the arena. Does it matter? It does matter. But for these guys, I think it would matter in a way where it's better for them because I think they're fighting better stylistic matchups for them. They're fighting smaller guys and older guys and guys that they have more film on it and have and been watching for years. So a fight with these two guys, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm Nate Diaz or Tony Ferguson, I'm like, thank God. Thank the MMA <laughs> gods for making this happen yeah. because I did not want to fight Shemayev. Yep. So this is great for both guys. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.